Sprite sorting problems are something that everyone needs to deal with when getting started making 2D games in Unity. If you're like me, then these persist for a while and every now and then you have to refresh your memory. This is a straightforward summary of the ways to sort your sprites and how to get the desired effect. In this scene, I have two sprites that we care about. The ground tile map with a sorting layer of default and the player sprite that also has a sorting layer of default. Sorting layers are used with sprites in Unity's 2D graphics. Sorting refers to the overlay order of sprites. To add a new layer, click the drop down and click add sorting layer, or click the layer drop down and click add layer. From here, select the sorting layers drop down and click the add button. You can drag these layers to change the drawing order. You can add lots of these, but I would advise limiting yourself. If you add a new layer for everything, then it can get very difficult to manage and risks a complete spaghetti of layers. In general, I stick to something simple like background, foreground, and UI. Once you have added a new sorting layer, switch back to the sprite and update the sorting layer property of the sprite renderer. This can solve most problems, but what do you do when you have two sprites on the same layer? This is where the order in layer value comes in. This value is only relevant within the selected sorting layer. Once you've created your layer and added all your sprites to it, then you can order the sprites within that layer too. The lower numbers are rendered first, so they will appear behind the higher value sprites. You can read more about these on the sprite renderer page of Unity Docs. Right here, we have two sprites on the same layer, but I want the player to appear in front of the cat. To do this, I need to change the order and layer value of the player sprite. If I increment it higher than the cow, then it appears in front. This gets us most of what we need. The next step is updating the transparency sort axis. These are camera settings and can be adjusted for the project by navigating to Edit, Project Settings, Graphics. For these inputs to be available, then the Scriptable Render Pipeline Settings option must be set to None. If you have something selected here, then select None, update the values, and reselect your pipeline settings. Otherwise, you will need to update the scriptable render pipeline settings separately. The two drop-down options we are interested in are transparency sort mode and transparency sort axis. To get this solution to work with Y sorting, I select custom axis for the transparency sort mode and we need to set some values for X, Y, Z on the transparency sort axis. These values are pretty self-explanatory. You give each axis a value based on the order you wish them to appear. For this, we will leave X and Y as zero and add a value of one to the Y axis. We can now set the player's order and layer value back to zero and allow Unity's graphics engine to deal with the ordering of sprite rendering. This will give us the ability for the player to walk in front or behind objects. This should get us most of the way to the result we want. In the example, we can see the player is now able to walk behind the cow and in front of the cow. Well done if you didn't give up at this point thinking you already know everything you need to know. There is one final point to consider, and that is the property Sprite Sort Point on the Sprite Renderer. By default, this is set to center, and Unity measures the distance between the camera's transform position and the center of the sprite to determine the render order. This works most of the time. However, if you end up with strange overlapping, it may be because some sprites have a sort order of center and some have a sort order of pivot. In this example, if I change the player's sort order point to pivot to match the cow sprite, then the player moves to the front. In a 2D game, if all the sprites are set at the same Z distance from the camera, the sprite sort point will be the deciding factor. Consider sticking to a consistent value across all sprites. You can read more about this on the Unity Sprite Renderer page on the Unity Docs. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, consider giving the video a like and subscribing to the channel. Until next time.